be speaking today on the intermittency of renewables, the challenges and um, the solutions or the way forward. So I'll move on to the next slide, introduction to renewables. So we, before we talk about renewables, we can't talk about renewables without talking about energy in the sense because renewables are a form of um, energy. So energy in the world today, it's production and it's consumption that we historically has been tied to human civilization or it's a major characteristic or feature of a modern society. So, and primarily in the, primarily in the world today, the, bond, the use of fossil fuel, which is a non-renewable source, is our major source of um, energy today in the world. But however, due to concerns that range from environmental concerns like um, global warming, and also due to, I would say due to its in a bit, um, its, um, Situate that is its ability to being prone to exhaustion. That means in, we're trying to say being prone to exhaustion is because we see in the world today there is growing population, and this population there has to be a high amount of energy to compensate for this population. That is to say, population growth is kind of interconnected with energy consumption, and in times or it there, there has been reports that this renewable or this non-renewable that we get from coal or natural gas cannot in the future compensate for energy demand. So there is a need for alternative um, energy sources. That is where the renewables or renewable sources of energy comes in. So um, the renewable sources of energy, they are energy or power we get from natural sources. Like we have um, solar, which is gotten from the sun. We have the wind that results from changing weather conditions. We have um, hydro, that's what that we get from river and geothermal, which is gotten from and the earth's internal energy. So these renewables, they, they are a choice of um, energy source because they help to avert or reduce global warming and other global health concerns. So moving on to the next slide, we have um, transition to these renewables. So due to, I've stated earlier that due to these concerns of environmental issues and um, limited availability, countries in the world today, especially those that have the ability to contribute high amounts of these greenhouse gases, because these greenhouse gases as a result of, that is due to the burning of fossil fuel, have cost about two third of um, the climate change we are seeing in the world today. So there's been the need or raise of concerns for countries in the world to shift to these um, alternative energy sources. So moving on to the next slide, we have um, a data or a bar chart that represents or a forecast for energy consumption in the world today. And if we see in the data presented here, you will see that there is an increase in the use of renewables in the world today, like we've seen in the case of um, countries like in Germany, in the US, in, um, in Uruguay and in Brazil and all of that, they've been the shift to the use of renewable and this um, use of renewable, it's, it's proven to increase in the future, like we see um, in the bar charts that the portion provided that is labeled or colored green, indicates the growth in um, the use of these renewables. So moving on to the subject of this today, it's intermittency of renewable energy. So when we talk about intermittency, we're talking about the inability of this renewable energy to always consistently provide energy at all times or at all hours of the day. So this is it's a major concern or is a major challenge in the area of um, a sustainable energy future. Uh, it's the major argument, critics of renewable energy, they always bring forward that it's not possible for these renewables to satisfy or compensate for energy demands or global energy demands. So however, they, like it's always noted that there is no challenge without solution. There is no problem in the world today that isn't so much able. So, um, I would present some of these challenges. So some of the first um, challenge of inter 
intermittent um, renewable energy is it disrupts the conventional planning you know, or conventional operation of this um, electric grids because normally these electric grids they have the way that they are already programmed to work but due to um, environmental issues because the renewable or the renewable sources of energy they are dependent on that is they are being influenced by environment or seasons like you have in the case of solar that is being affected by cloud cover or you have in the case of um, wind that is being affected by the weather conditions. So these daily fluctuations, they've, um, they result to difficulty to be able to plan the electric, um, the activities or daily operation of these grid generators. Then another challenge is the ability to be able to estimate the outputs of these um, renewables. So due to these daily fluctuations, one is not able to predict or exactly calculate how or the amount of energy that these um, renewables are able to provide. Then another major challenge is the issue of, um, like we see in the slide, is the issue of the base load capability. So when we talk of base load, base load usually it refers to the minimum power generation of any energy source. So unlike the conventional coal or natural gas or even nuclear, we are able to exactly estimate or calculate their outputs. But in terms of renewables, you are there is you cannot predict since the power sources are based on nature. So, however, these challenges we have been able over time, there have been um, solutions to these challenges. I'm moving on to the next slide. We have um, some of the solutions. Okay, this slide here it shows the growth of renewable energy over time. So we see that as the percentage, because it's expressed in percentages, as we increase in percentages, you see that countries in the world have been able to deploy this alternative um, sustainable or cleaner form of um, energy. Regardless of the challenges experienced by renewables, there have been solutions in the world to be able to curb the intermittency issue of renewables. So the first and the important or the very paramount solution to intermittence, the intermittency of renewable energy is the use of reliable energy storage. So over time, this energy storage um, system or reliable energy storage technologies like you see in solar or in wind, they are able to preserve these um, forms of energy in situations where this um, energy would not be available. So also, we have, um, in terms of um, the base energy load, as um, the base, en base energy capability, this um, base energy capability of renewables, they can, it's, it's, it's a challenge that can be curbed using simulate computer simulations and also with the use of these renewables. Computer simulation, you'll be able to program when you'll be able to bring about other forms of energy working hand in hand to um, to be able to supply energy when in demand. Then we have, um, sorry, the next um, solution to intermittency is connection of dispersed and or technological diverse variable generation types. So when we talk about dispersed generation types, we're talking about the use of, this. it's usually a situation whereby smaller or smaller highly efficient power plants uh, that is they are being created alongside existing generation grids but in this case they are closer to end users so when we are able to integrate these dispersed power plants we are able to cover up for the lapses for, of um, intermittency or variability in the use of these um, renewables then the next solution to intermittency is integration of dispatchable renewable sources. So these dispatchable renewable sources, they are talking about those energy sources like you have in hydropower that are able to, you are able to adjust them at any point in time. So these dispatchable renewable sources, they are able to compensate for the solar or the wind energy sources that you are not being able to adjust. So in conclusion, that's the conclusive slide. I would say that um, a sustainable energy future, it's something that is possible. 
they, because normally people would say, um, regardless of the arguments of critics in the world that um, renewable is not, cannot, that is, it's not reliable form of energy. It's something that is not um, insurmountable. We have the use of, that is why we have the growth of batteries in the world today. They are able to compensate for these lapses or challenges. And also I would say the collaboration with that is this moving into a sustainable energy requires everybody's efforts. Because I would say everybody's efforts, we're talking about stakeholders, um, we're talking about regulatory bodies, we're talking about business leaders, everybody, you and I, we all have the responsibility to transition into this um, greener future through the decarbonization of power generation system. So it's something that is um, achievable and it's possible for every country, every nation in the world today. So um, thank you very much.